Hey guys, hello everyone. Welcome to Rasan Academy, all of you. So in this particular video, we are going to be discussing the marks distribution of the CSI NET examination December 2022 and June 2023, which was the combined examination that you gave on 7th of June. All right. Why are we discussing this? Because I know that a lot of you are restarting your preparation. A lot of you are waiting for the results. Right. And while we restart the preparation, let's have some more clarity about what are the changes? What are the major changes in the examination pattern that have been observed this time? OK, so first of all, we are going to consider topic wise marks distribution. We are also going to consider uh, subtopic wise mark distribution like what are the uh, important uh, chapters and topics which and what, what are the marks this time and we will also see what are the marks that have been uh, allotted to these topics previously like uh, since uh, let's say June 2017 paper all right so let's start the discussion so first thing we look at over here is the number of questions uh, that we got from organic number of questions in section B we have got 15 number of questions in section C of organic we have got 20 so we see that number of questions in organic C is the same we have got 20 20 20 questions for organic inorganic and physical chemistry all right but for the section B there is a difference there were more questions on organic 15 there were 13 questions on inorganic and 12 questions on physical chemistry. All right. So these are the number of questions that were uh, uh, observed to be in, in this uh, June 7th June paper. All right. All right. So let's break down the marks this time for organic chemistry. Right. So the most important topics of organic chemistry are the uh, reactive intermediates, reaction mechanism, organic synthesis and as you see organic spectroscopy reagents all of these are very very important topics let's see the marks break down this time so as you can see in section b there was one question from goc in section c there was no question because this is a easy basic topic so mostly we expect questions in section b only for stereochemistry there were six marks uh, one question for section b as well as section c two plus four gives you six marks react uh, reaction intermediates see we usually collectively calculate marks for this but for greater uh, clarity i've given you separate com uh, you know marks distribution but let's say if we combine both of these topics it is giving you 30 marks over here all right and similarly organic synthesis so most of the organic synthesis is asked in section C only. So you can see that it, there is 28 marks. How do you get the knowledge of organic synthesis? By studying reaction mechanism, reagents, intermediates, name reactions, all of this. So this is basically organic synthesis part is basically a combination of all of these important topics. Okay, so you have 28 marks for this. For reagents, you have 12 marks. For organic spectroscopy, you have 10 marks, all right? And guys, there were all of the easy questions. You see, there are five questions in section B only uh, for uh, from organic spectroscopy. None of the question was asked in section C. So 10 marks for easy question, two marks each. Heterocyclic chemistry, there was one question, section B and C as well. You got six marks for this. Photochemistry, four marks. Bio organic chemistry, four marks because there were two questions of two, two marks each. And uh, one of the questions was on the PK uh, iso isoelectric point of alanine. I hope you remember that question. So easy such questions. For pericyclic, you got eight marks because there were two questions in section C itself. All right. We have already discussed uh, both of those questions. Right. So total, there were 110 marks which were asked for organic chemistry in the CSI net paper. OK, let's move onwards. I would once again mention which are the most important topics over here. Organic reaction mechanism and intermediates, organic synthesis, reagents, spectroscopy, pericyclic. These are the most important topics and stereochemistry and GOC form the basics. All right. All right. Let's move onwards. Now doing the same uh, breakdown for inorganic chemistry as well. Guys, you see over here chemical bonding topic, which is a very basic topic. You got 10 marks from this. All right. 
so many a good questions have been asked so 10 marks for chemical bonding topic and there were a lot of students who were confused why to study chemical bonding because you see bonding and periodicity both of them give you 16 marks in the examination this time okay however main group elements and acid base chemistry there are less number of marks than usual it is 18 marks for this topic also guys for coordination chemistry there were only 16 marks however we expect the marks to be more than 20 but this time 16 marks this time you know uh, it it has been a little bit different from always because always coordination and organometallic compounds were the most important topic but this time the marks have been divided between chemical bonding between bio inorganic chemistry you know it has been divided this time so we cannot say ki do topic padhne se hi coordination uh, inorganic chemistry ho jayega okay so yes inner transition metal again marks have been increased 12 marks for this topic organometallic marks have been decreased again 18 marks all right as we go onwards and we see the previous year question marks distribution you will be able to understand that what has changed over here okay radioactivity 6 marks bio inorganic chemistry 10 marks for this and inorganic spectroscopy uh, there was a question on esr spectroscopy so 4 marks and instrumental methods of analysis six marks so totally you are getting 106 marks which have been divided as such in this particular paper doing the same mark uh, distribution uh, the same analysis for physical chemistry as well as you can see what are the important topics see chemical kinetics and photochemistry always this is a major topic so 18 marks for this solid state six marks have come as usual this is usual Quantum chemistry marks goes on increasing 28, group theory 6 which is uh, like kind of less only, electrochemistry 10 which is usual, chemical th thermodynamics 8, statistical thermodynamics 8, data analysis 4, physical spectroscopy 4, only one question appeared, colloids and surfaces only one question 4 marks, that also on bet equation very simple. Polymer ka bhi ek question aaya tha, 4 marks. Phase equilibrium again 4 marks. So you see that uh, distribution of marks has mostly gone into quantum this time. Right? Yeah, so total 104 marks was asked of physical chemistry. Now here guys, let's look at the previous year questions. So I just hope that uh, I've tried to squeeze all these numbers into this slide. So this is June 2017 that you're looking at section B and section C. December 2017, June 2018, section B and section C. December 2018, June 2019, December 19, November 20, Fe February 2022 and September 2022. So these are the... Uh, basically the divisions for section b and section c it is okay so i hope that you are able to understand how the mass distribution is so you see that aromaticity as a, a separate topic is not very frequently asked but yes you can expect a question in section b most of the times okay goc again you will expect more questions in section b because again it's a basic topic all right yes so every time there is like uh, a question being asked on goc however there were greater questions on goc in september 2022 examination stereochemistry also maintains the same score 8 plus 2 10 4 plus 4 8 and uh, let's say this this is uh, june 18 may come questions as stereochemistry ke. then we move onwards it has been again getting more popular in the recent years. You see February 2022, 16 marks. September 2022, only 4 marks. So, keeps on changing for stereochemistry. You know, sometimes the examiner uh, asks you direct questions of stereochemistry and sometimes the more emphasis is put on dynamic stereochemistry and which does not only un classify under stereochemistry. That will go under uh, reaction mechanism intermediate and so onwards. Okay, so let's check for this particular topic, intermediate and mechanism. So you see 20 marks here in June 2017, 28 marks in December 17, 24 marks in June 18 and look over here, December 18 May, 36 marks. Again, 
uh, you know it goes on increasing and decreasing but yeah this is a majority topic all right this topic is of very high importance let's move onwards to name reaction and rearrangement theek okay? hai so again you see the same score but you know in in some years there are questions some years there are not so you see december may section b mein question nahi hai section c mein hai the same happens in june 18 the same happens in december 18 the same happens in uh, so basically there are more questions in section c than section b but recently in february 2022 and september 22 the marks are divided both between b and c that is easy name reaction and rearrangement and a difficult name reaction and rearrangement it is divided like this now for reagents it is a big topic as you see over here greater number of marks on an average we can say this is approximately around 16 to 20 marks all right on an average okay asymmetric synthesis there will be around one or two question in section c part as you can see over here one or two question in section c pericyclic and photochemistry again if they are combined they are going to contribute on a rough scale they are going to contribute around 10 to 14 marks because you see these are 12 marks over here 14 and these are 18 over here again 20 so yeah this is a big topic so on an average i would still say 14 marks okay see 14 marks for this i've done a separate video for uh, marks distribution but this is just to see the trends all right heterocyclic chemistry more questions in section c as you can check out okay natural product organic spectroscopy these are the two important topics organic spectroscopy has always uh, got um, good marks in both in section b and section c so basically uh, if we check from the previous year and this year the trend for organic is almost similar there is not much difference however we get questions on spectroscopy which we have not got this time okay all right now let's come on to inorganic chemistry guys now you will see the difference that is look over here chemical periodicity and chemical bonding right for periodicity you have always got uh, less number of marks as you can see over here mostly it is 2 or 0 2 or 0 so on, on an average you get two marks for chemical periodicity for chemical bonding two and this is going to be combinedly 12 10 12 so basically for chemical bonding we have got 10 marks this year and this is on an average so the same thing for chemical bonding we get 10 marks so yeah this that's the same average all right acid and base we always get 2 to 4 marks on an average which we have got the same for main group elements we have in the previous years it was less but with time it is increasing and we are getting more number of marks from main group elements in the recent years as you can see there are greater number of marks over here coordination compound combine this you are going to get how much 24 from here so that was very old june 2017 paper let's look at recent marks 16 plus 8 remains the same 24 this is 22 so around 22 to 24 marks for coordination but you have seen how less marks we have got this time from coordination okay inner transition metal so you see the difference the major difference is coordination inner transition metal you see very less questions all the times very less question um, approximately average pe 4 marks aata hai but this time the marks were very high organometallic compounds you see that 20 marks 20 sometimes it is very high for example 34 over here 36 over here then 30 and in the recent years again this is 22 24 30 like that but is time kitna aaya 18 bahut kam bio inorganic chemistry on an average you are going to get the same number of marks that we have got this time approximately 10 so this is fine on the higher end but fine yes nuclear chemistry the same trend analytical chemistry the same trend epr and mosber also the same trend that is you will either get a question from epr or mosber or let's say sometimes both okay 
All right. So checking for physical chemistry once again. For quantum chemistry, how many marks are there? In June 17, there are 16 marks. And then moving onwards, 22 marks, 26. And let's look at the recent years. Uh, it's, uh, it's 20, 26, like that. And this time it has become 28. So even higher. There is a greater, the you know, more importance to quantum chemistry day by day. Chemical thermodynamics, it is the same average. Average marks is 10 for the same. Chemical kinetics also remains the same. Uh, the in, uh, there is a greater marks, uh, mark, mark increase uh, in the recent year for the chemical kinetics. For electrochemistry, it is the same. For molecular spectroscopy, we get usually eight, six to eight marks. All right. However, this time it has been very less. You see, 12 marks in Feb uh, 22 eight marks but this time you've got only one question four marks group theory again the weightage was very high in the old uh, question papers but in the recent papers the weightage has become very very less as you can see it is very evident over here group theory ka thoda sa kam ho gaya hai weightage statistical thermodynamics the weightage has increased okay solid state almost remains the same around six marks Colloids and surfaces, this is also remains the same similar trend. Equilibrium, see, basically these are some small topics. For them, the weightage is almost the similar. But the greater difference is quantum and chemical kinetics this time, as well as molecular spectroscopy and group theory. So I have some really important conclusions for you all. All right, guys. So the most important thing I want to tell you all: organic means zada difference nahi hai. It is almost the same. However, this time we have not got any four mark structure determination question from the um, uh, from the spectroscopy part, and also the pericyclic questions were directly from the book. Okay, photochemistry was also easy more on the doable side doable questions from organic greater number of questions we have got from organic this time okay for the physical spectroscopy also we have got only one question the weightage of quantum is increasing every year this time 28 marks data analysis also a little bit higher weightage as always kabhi question aata tha kabhi nahi aata tha abhi is bar aaya hai all right, the most striking point, however, is organometallic and coordination ka lower weightage. This is the most striking point because we thought ki chalo, ye do bohat achche important bade topics hai. In se hamara inorganic ho jayega, but this time greater weightage was also given to F block. So this topic has increased number of questions this time. Higher weightage of chemical kinetics as well. Group theory weightage decreased over the years and organic may direct questions jo hamesha itne direct nahi aate is bar zyada direct the. Now guys what do you take away from this? Aisa nahi hai ki I have told you that OMC and coordination are having a lower weightage which means you are not going to study them. You are going to study them with equal importance as, as you would have done before but the key points that you take away from here is that you have to now Put a little little emphasis, however however much uh, time you can manage, put a little emphasis on quantum, put a li little more emphasis on F block elements and over chemical kinetics. These are the three most important topics that you are also going to focus on along with your preparation. Whatever you are doing, whichever is the uh, subject that you like the most, you are going to also consider these important topics for your preparation so that the marks are increasing you can score more marks from here okay so yes this was it guys i will see you all in another such video if you are liking this video then please share it with your friends and also don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't i'll see you soon bye everyone